Hello guys, welcome back to day 29 of the Hue Vember color challenge. Uh, as always, we're starting off with that photosensitivity warning. If you are sensitive to flashing lights and moving images, the canvas to the right hand side is going to be stationary, whereas the one to the left is going to be moving around. So for today's uh, Hue Vember challenge, I want to talk about the character first because this is a bit of a weird character for me. Um, she does have a universe that she belongs to. Her name is Imogen. And she has a story she belongs to as well, but that is a story that I made up in high school when I was 13 to 17, um, and it just doesn't mesh with my current personality uh, and storytelling anymore. So it's kind of been abandoned. Uh, I still have the characters. I still know what the story's about, but I just don't interact with it as often anymore. Um, it's just not a good plot line. It's not a good storyline. So I kind of abandoned it. I might pick it up uh, someday, who knows, but it's definitely on the backmost burner of my mind at the moment. So Imogen here is a seamstress and a doll maker. And the story goes that she can sort of create magical um, lifelike dolls that then help her uh they become like her servants or they take part in society and that's really as far as i got with her um story wise i was a little more focused on some other characters in the story but imogen is just the most fun to draw for me i really like her style i like her um sort of laid back but still working demeanor like she's just lounging here but she's got a sewing project in her lap i think it's really fun to draw just a, a very laid back casual pose like this and then a weird character trait that i kind of remember about this character is uh i didn't want her to show any kind of emotion um she just didn't have facial expressions i sort of wrote it into her species which uh, i don't know what that species is it's such an old story and i haven't touched it in so long um but the character, like it, she would experience happiness, sadness, uh, anxiety, stuff like that, but she wouldn't physically be able to show it on her face. For some reason, I just thought that would be a cool character trait. Now getting into the actual technical part of the piece here, um, I started Hugh Vember off just sort of doing my own thing. I didn't really uh, follow any particular rules other than just doing a color a day. But I looked it up after I had already done the first couple of pieces and I realized the goal of Huevember was to stay in one specific hue for every day and just adjust the um, saturation and the tone of that hue. So how light and how dark it could be. So I wanted to try that for this piece specifically because I haven't been doing it for any of my other pieces. And I just thought it was fun. I stayed in this uh, purple pink tone that you can see on the color wheel there. I tried not to move that uh, position as much as possible and just um, moved my color picker around the square so that I would get more desaturated grays. I would get some darker, uh, deeper purple colors or some more saturation in places like the eye and the hair to sort of bring a little extra pop of color to the piece. Looking back on it now, I kind of wish I had done um, like a little bit of purple and pink elements instead of just staying in this one hue. But I think the end product looked good. It just uh, turned out maybe just a little bit too monotone for, for my personal taste. As you can see, I chose to do the sticker aesthetic again with just having that uh, lighter outline around the whole piece and then the darker outline around the character herself to give it the appearance of like being able to peel the piece off like you would a sticker. Uh, her foot does go off the screen there, so I have no plans to turn this into an actual sticker because I would have to go back and uh, draw in the whole foot. But I just like the aesthetic. I think it's a really cool um, way to kind of separate your character from the background when you are doing these just singular character uh, pictures. And then I really just wanted to... Um, shade this whole piece very, very basic. I wanted to focus mostly on the colors and again, the line art for this one. Don't know what that pause was. Okay, are we getting back to it? Hello? <laughs> I don't know why we're pausing here. I must've got caught up in Instagram or something. Uh, but just doing very basic shadows and then very basic highlights, nothing too special. I do add the glitter layer a bit. So I do the highlights in the hair or in the eyes. And then I also add a little bit of extra shine to the hair as well. 
Um, but yeah, just very basic with this one. I wanted to give myself a little bit of a break and do something I was comfortable with and just play with the colors instead of uh, the lighting or the uh, shading on the piece itself. There's that glitter layer there, just that extra swipe and that is it. And that is Imogen finishing off day 29 of the Hue Vember Color Challenge. We are so close to being done, just one day left. And tomorrow we are going into just straight pink. It's gonna be our last one. If you would like to see tomorrow's video right now, you can find it on my Patreon under the Video Star tier. Other than Patreon, if you would like to follow me on my art journey, you can find me on TikTok and Instagram. I was posting every day for the month of November, but you're a little late for that now. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can uh, find your way back for tomorrow's video. Bye.